In endurance events, the margins between individuals in the top bunch are minimal, often just a few percent at most. With the possibility of boosting your potential, it's easy to see why altitude training is popular, along with its illegal cousin, blood doping. They take a, a, a half a litre or a litre of blood out, and then three months later they put it back in again. Because you need that, you need three months for, to replace the blood that you've taken out. And then when you put the extra blood in, well, with that extra blood you're able to perform better. Especially endurance sports where you need the oxygen, because um, the extra blood allows your heart to pump more oxygen to the muscles. We saw how the body's response to altitude was to produce the hormone EPO, which stimulated red blood cell production. So what would happen if you hotwired the system by introducing extra EPO? If you take extra EPO and you have to have it as an injection, uh, then that increases the amount of red blood cells that your bone marrow produces and up goes your blood volume. So it's a high-tech way of getting blood doping. Of course, taking EPO is not only illegal, but dangerous. You can produce so many extra red blood cells that your blood turns to sludge. And in fact, you then get coagulation, blood clotting, right through your body, and, and uh, it's a, a fairly rapid death. 